Hi, I'm Katie and this video is about how to add clickable buttons, links and icons to the WooCommerce product table plugin. Now WooCommerce product table, if you don't already have it, is a plugin that creates this sort of layout for your WooCommerce products on your WordPress website. So it lists your products in a table. The aim of this video is to show you how to do what I've done in this part of the table, which is where I've added a clickable link, a clickable button and a clickable icon within the table. And I'll show you how to do that now. Now we're in the admin for my WordPress test site. And as you can see, I have two plugins enabled. One of them is WooCommerce itself and the other is WooCommerce product table, which is what we're using to display our products in a table where we're going to add the links, buttons or icons. So once you've got those two plugins installed, the first thing to do is go to the settings page. There's loads of settings for WooCommerce product table which allow you to control exactly how your tables work. So it might be what columns you have in the table, how many rows per page, and tons of stuff. But we're looking for a specific setting here um, which is related to showing links, buttons and icons in the table. And the one you want is shortcodes. So you need to tick this box to display shortcodes, HTML and other formatting inside the table content. Now the reason that we tick that box is because it tells WooCommerce product table to display your links and buttons as links and buttons, not just as plain text. So for example, if you are adding some code to add a link, then it will actually display it as a link. It won't just show the code in the table. So make sure you tick that option, choose any others you want and click save. The next thing to do is to create a product table and um, then I will show you how to put the links and buttons and icons within that. Now we'll just to create the table very quickly because um, you've only, you're, there are plenty of other knowledge base articles and videos about how to do that. So product table with links, icons and buttons. So to add a product table, you click the insert product table toolbar button this default short code will show all your products, but I want to show a specific category, which is called clothing, because uh, I've got tons of products on my site. I'm going to choose the full width template, publish the page, and I'll just show you what it looks like before we add the links. Now, here we go. We have a short description column here, which is called summary. I added that as one of the columns listed on the plugin settings page, which you saw a minute ago. And so basically you need to choose one of the columns in your table and use that to store the icons, links and buttons. What I'm going to do next is replace this text here with a standard link that people can click on to go to another URL. I'm going to click, uh, I'm going to replace this text for the second product with an, a button, a clickable button. And I'm going to replace this text for the third product with a clickable icon. So let's do the standard link first. So I'm going to go to edit that product. So I've gone to the product page and clicked edit product at the top. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to the short description field and empty that out. If you're already using your short description for something else and you don't want to put the link icon or button there, then that's fine. You can add it to the main content column if you prefer, if you're using that column in your table, or you can create a custom field using a plugin such as Advanced Custom Fields, and that gives you full control over which field to use to store this extra data in the table. But I'm just going to use the short description. So let's just call it, click here. This is a standard WordPress toolbar that you will be familiar with. So I've typed in the box, highlighted the text and clicked the insert edit link icon. And then you can add any URL you like there. So it might be a link to another page on your site. It might be a link to a, an external site, um, a third party URL, or it might be an an item in your media library such as a downloadable document, maybe a technical specification document or something like that. So whatever URL you want, you can put it here, apply it and you can see I've added a clickable link to the short description. I'm now going to save my product, go back to the product table once it's finished saving and refresh the page. So you can see that the short description for that product has now been replaced by a clickable link. And if I click on it, you can see it took me to the URL that I added for the link. Next, we're going to add a button to this 
uh, section here. So again, I'll go to that product. I'm clicking edit product and scroll down to replace the short description. This is a little bit trickier because it depends on your theme and what other plugins you've got installed. Uh, I happen to know that there is some uh, code for a button within my theme, so I'm going to do it that way. But you should look up what comes with your theme and any page builder plugins you have installed to see how to create a button with your website. For example, if you're using something like Visual Composer or the Avada theme or whatever, then you will have a button shortcode that you can add into this space here. I'm using a more simple theme that doesn't have that, so I happen to know how to use HTML to add a button within my theme, but the method will be different, so find out the method for your site. So let's call this a button link. I'm just adding a link as usual. Let's add a URL again and apply it. And the difference is that for my site, I'm going to add class equals button. That may not exist on your site, so don't just do what I do. Actually find out the method to create a button with your theme. And I'm going to update the page, refresh it again, and you can see that I've added a button. And it will work in exactly the same way if you have a short code in your theme to create a button. Um, so don't just do what I did. Um, finally, we're going to add a icon linking through to a URL of our choice to this bit here. Again, look in your theme and your page builder plugin if you have one, because it may well be that you already have icons built into that that you can use. If you don't have icons that come with your site, you can either upload an image of an icon and link to that. So to do that, you would just upload an image using the normal add media button above the WordPress toolbar, and then you would click on the image and hyperlink it in the normal way for WordPress. Or if you wanted a more high definition retina icon, then it's best to add it properly as an icon font rather than an image. If you don't have an icon shortcode already built into your theme, then what I recommend you do is to install the Better Font Awesome plugin, which is a free plugin on WordPress.org called Better Font Awesome. I'm going to install that and show you how to use it now to create your icon. So we go plugins, add new, and then we type better font awesome. And this is the normal way of uploading and um, of adding plugins in WordPress. So you find the one, you can see it's a very reputable plugin, lots of active installs, lots of good reviews. So we know it's a safe one to install on our website. So we install it now and then we click activate. The easiest way to use better font awesome is to go to the wordpress.org plugin page that I showed you a minute ago and then you can find the sample shortcode that it gives you and just copy that over. Now we're going to go into the final product that I want to add it to because as you remember this is where I want to add my icon so I'm going to click on that product, go to the edit product link at the top and I'm going to put that shortcode into my website in the short description field. Uh, because I've copied that shortcode from another website, a little tip for you is click the paste as text icon first and it won't copy over any nasty formatting from that website. So then if I can paste it in here, it's not added any nasty code tags or divs or anything I don't want around the edge that could break it. Uh, I also happen to know that if I ha have spin border, in my shortcode, it's going to make my icon spin around in a strange way. I discovered that with another video yesterday for one of our other plugins. So if you want your icon to spin, leave it as it comes from their website. Otherwise, just keep it at the two times. If you want a bigger icon, change it to three times, one times for smaller, etc. But I quite like the two times size. I think it works really well in WooCommerce product table. So this is the Better Font Awesome icon. In the name of the icon, you can head over to the Font Awesome website and um, they have literally hundreds of icons that you can choose from. So let's have a Facebook one and pretend we're linking through to Facebook or something. Um, and then you highlight the icon once you've chosen your icon. Um, you highlight the shortcode, sorry, once you've chosen the name of the icon. And again, you want to add the link that you want people to be taken to when they click on it. So I've added that again. 
So now we have the Font Awesome plugin icon with a clickable link wrapped around it. So let's update that for one final time and refresh the page. And here, see there's a Facebook icon here. You can add whatever size as you saw in different Font Awesome icons. It doesn't have to be Facebook. So now you've learned three ways to add different types of links to any URL to WooCommerce product table. You can have a standard plain text link, a button link, or an icon. And similarly, you could have added an image using exactly the same method and linked that. I hope that's useful to you. Thanks for watching.